Welcome to my YouTube channel where we demonstrate and discuss everything related to theatrical and entertainment production crafts. Please subscribe to get the latest updates, posts, and demonstrations. While I will focus primarily on safety in the shops and comprehensive training and operating procedures for tools and machinery, I'll also demonstrate and discuss practical applications like flat and platform construction, scene painting, and more. If you'd like to see something specific, please let me know in the comments. Once again, please subscribe and power up the alert bell to get the most up-to-date notifications about new content. Yesterday I was having some problems with my tape measure and figuring out why the piece of plywood was coming in at uh, eight feet and an eighth of an inch. And yet my boards, my side pieces were an eighth of an inch short of eight feet, but I was measuring with my tape measure and it was marking out to eight feet. And I've also noticed a couple of measurements being off at the table saw. And I was wondering why are my measurements off? And then I took a closer look at the tape measure. This particular tape measure has some issues. The tip is bent. It's like someone dropped it and bam, and it landed on the tip of the, the tape measure here. And what that means now is because this is now bent and it's not perfectly 90 degrees, that means all of my measurements are gonna be off. This slides back and forth for your inside or your outside measurements but my measurements are not going to be accurate because this is all damaged. It's got some dings here as well, so it's been damaged. And basically, I'm never going to be able to do accurate measurements with this tape measure anymore. I could try to replace the whole insert, this whole device, but I find that that's usually not worth it. And most of these tape measures are 10 to $20 a piece. And when you spend almost that much on the insert, then you got to do the labor to replace it. And then there's a spring inside, and if you're not careful, the spring goes boring, and then it goes everywhere. So uh, I just don't even try to repair them anymore. I just throw them out. But this is what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to look straight and perfect 90 degrees. And it is supposed to be nice and fluid here in its movement. That one's a little bit stiff. That's going to give me inaccurate measurements. And if I continue to use that one, I'm going to have screwed up all of my, uh, everything I'm trying to build isn't going to be accurate. So what I'm going to do with this guy, I'm going to throw it away, but just so someone doesn't pull it out of the trash and think, oh, why did someone throw that tape measure away? It's gone. It's gone. Bye-bye tape measure. If you're a student in the shop, don't go cutting up the tape measures and throwing them away. Please give them to me or to your faculty supervisor or the shop supervisor and let them make the determination and the final determination on what's broken and not repairable in terms of bad batteries, in terms of bad tape measures, in terms of broken tools. Give it to someone else to make that decision, but um, I'm making that decision for this particular tool and making a point in this video that you need to inspect your equipment and your gear and make sure that it's in good operating condition and that it's actually doing what it's supposed to do. If it's not doing what it's supposed to do, then you're not gonna have a good product with the stuff you're building in the shop. Mm -hmm.